Hello Virgo, welcome to your love reading. We're gonna look at what you can expect, what's been going on for you in love and relationships, what's the challenge, what's on their mind, and what can you expect next? We're gonna go over all of that today. So let's jump right in for Virgo. For the sign of Virgo spirit, what does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? Tell me about Virgo. Three of Wands, waiting. You're waiting for something. Waiting to hear back, waiting for a message, waiting for someone to maybe show up or take action. What's going on for Virgo? Maybe you're waiting to take action. The star, Aquarius energy. Well, you're waiting with a hope, I feel. Hopeful that what comes in is what you wanted or that the result is what you hoped for. King of Cups and Judgment. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Oh yeah, Nine of Cups. You're waiting for something specific, a specific outcome or result. It could be that you're waiting for someone to give you a call with judgment. Sometimes I get that. Or it could be that you're waiting for someone to wake up to a realization, an idea, or to make a certain call, like a judgment call that benefits you or is, you know, a judgment call that you were kind of waiting for or hoping for. Let's see, let's ask, what's judgment about? Why is judgment here? Why is judgment here? Four of Pentacles. Why is judgment here? Why is judgment here? This one. Oh, I got two. Seven of Swords and the Six of Wands. What? Interesting. Well, the Six of Wands with the Seven of Swords, I think of someone that they did whatever it took to win. They played the game right. They might have done some things behind the scenes to ensure a victory, something like that. Um, they got away with something as well. When I see these two cards together, you know, they strategize correctly. But the Four of Pentacles is a card about you're holding on to something important or that you feel is important. You don't want to let go. You're kind of holding on in a way. And that way you're holding back at the same time because your arms aren't like open to receive anything new. I feel like what's going on here is that you're hoping that someone was able to complete a mission in a way, or you're hoping that someone was able to be successful in whatever they wanted to kind of achieve. For some reason, this affects you. Their success affects you, Virgo. This could also be that you're hoping that they make a certain decision, a certain judgment call, and that they went about it in a way that there's actual change that happens or, you know, a cycle begins because after judgment is the world, a cycle ends, a cycle begins. But I have to tell you, something's weird here. I can't put my finger on it, but I'm, I'm almost getting the sense that this is this hasn't happened yet it's like someone has given you hope that this will take place with the star with the nine of cups maybe you know about this situation and are expecting it to happen this could be anything by the way it does not how it could be it could be somebody moving someone moving jobs someone saying hey i'm moving closer to you I'm making a certain decision that will ensure that we can get married or something like that or be together. Whoever this is, you're waiting for the person that you love because the King of Cups is here. Tell me about this King of Cups. Yeah, the Hierophant and the Nine of Swords. Taurus energy here. It's like you're worried or anxious about a commitment with this person. Maybe you're wondering, like, am I ever going to be with this person that I really care about? Let me know if this is resonating so far for you. 
Can I get some more insight for Virgo? What's going on here for Virgo? Some of you, I feel like you want to reconnect with this King of Cups, whoever they are. And you're hoping that you have a second chance with this King of Cups. But I feel like, I don't know, there's something off about how you go about that reconnection. Like maybe you shouldn't be thinking about them this way. That's kind of the energy I'm getting. What's going on here? Reaching out, looking inward. Yes, this is you, Virgo. This is kind of like the Hermit card. And you're like hoping that someone reaches out to you, communicates with you. You're waiting for a message from a specific person. What's been happening in the recent past for Virgo? What's been happening in the recent past? The Page of Swords. What's been? You've been watching someone. Someone has been watching you. This could have been like on social media. Ten of Swords. Maybe something is ending for someone. Maybe the communication ended as well. I'm getting that as well. Like the, the conversation stopped or you found something out. But I feel like this is more like you're observing someone going through an ending is what it feels like. Or you're going through an ending of a cycle and you're like looking ahead. Because the Page of Swords is kind of like a researcher. They're very curious. They look into things. So once again, like maybe you observe something go down or you keep taps on a specific person and you're like, oh, that ended the job, the relationship, whatever. This happened in the recent past. I feel like whatever this is, this could have been that communication ended, that you observed something ending for someone, that something ended in your life and you're kind of looking ahead, whatever boat you fall under. But I feel like whatever happened here in the recent past, it's caused you to have this waiting energy. It's like, okay, now what's next? What's the challenge for Virgo? Spirit, what's the challenge for Virgo? Oh my God, I keep getting more than one. The Emperor and the Moon, Aries energy, the Moon, Pisces energy. Again, I feel like you're in the dark and then there's the Queen of Swords. It's like you wanna know information What's this emperor doing? Or what are they going to do next? Or what's going on behind the scenes? Or I wonder what's going on over there. Because I feel like you're not aware or you don't know all the facts with the moon. Something is secretive, something's mysterious, something's hidden from you. And that's the challenge. You don't know what this emperor is going to do or what they're going through or how they feel or what their plan is. It's very hard for everyone not to know what's going to happen. Let's get some more insight here. I feel like you want to know the truth. The Queen of Swords, sometimes she's like an investigator. She's like, I, I just want to get down to the nitty gritty and know all of the facts so that I can make my decision. Tell me about this Emperor. Forever ago. What do we need to know about this Emperor? Ace of Wands. What action will they take? Are they going to have a new beginning? Wow, the tower at the bottom of the deck. Some of you, I feel like, okay, I'm getting a message that some of you Virgos, you're hoping that this person makes a surprise or unexpected decision. Like maybe this is something that's not expected from them and you're hoping that that's exactly what they do. Others of you, I feel like you're, you're hoping that this person has a new beginning but you don't know the details. So something about this new beginning might surprise you, right? For example, if this is someone that's moving, right? You know they're packing their stuff. Maybe they posted something on social media, all their bags are packed, you know, just an example. And you knew they always wanted to go to a specific place. And you're like, I bet that's where they're going. But then the next time you check, they actually went somewhere completely different. That's my analogy, <laughs> I'm sticking to it. So I feel like that's that's probably something that could happen here. This person might make a decision that you weren't expecting. They're having their ace of wands, but maybe not in the way that you expected. But I feel like a lot of you are hoping that they call you or talk to you or tell you about their plans, whatever they're planning so that you're not in the dark. What's on this person's mind? What's on this emperor's mind? Let me put him over there. 
What's on their mind? Because I feel like that's your, your person. What's on their mind when it comes to Virgo, to this connection with Virgo? Seven of Wands. What's on their mind? What's on their mind when it comes to Virgo? What's on their mind? Queen of Swords. Well, when I see the Queen of Swords with the Seven of Wands, I think an argument. I think a conversation that doesn't go well. Conversation where people are defensive. They're honest, but defensive. Um, a bit cold as well, the Queen of Swords. She, she can be a bit cold, a bit standoffish. I feel like this emperor is looking at you as someone that would be a bit cold or standoffish with them, a bit difficult to talk to for whatever reason. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Okay, so I think that they want to make something right here. Justice is at the bottom of the deck, Libra energy. These two together, it's like, let's slowly work this out. Let's come to a, uh, a, harmony, a resolution or some sort of harmony. I think your person's thinking about resolving something with you, but I, I have to be honest. I feel like this is not their priority because I feel like when I saw the Seven of Wands, I thought like, oh, I don't want to deal with that right now because this is a little bit more difficult. What's behind that? Ace of Pentacles and the Tower. Oh, okay. And then the King of Swords. Okay, so when I see these three together, I think... Again, something is not the way that you hoped it would be with the Tower. Like, you get your Ace of Pentacles, but it's not the way that you thought. So, for example, Virgo. You're probably thinking, what the heck are you talking about, Stella? So, let's say that you've been waiting for an Ace of Pentacles, an Ace of Wands from this person you this is what you hope for but what if i told you you're gonna get it in two years not now that would be unexpected for you right that would be something that you, you know it's not the way that you hoped it would happen because you want it to happen right now something like that it's like hey i have a new opportunity for a job somewhere else or hey i have an opportunity or uh, uh, something to offer you but it, i'm gonna be long distance for a while something like that hey i'm still interested in you and making this right but i'm not ready for a relationship right now there's something about what's happening here with this individual that is not the way that you expected what can virgo expect next when it comes to this individual actually let's get a ps i love you for them these are my own Oracle decks, by the way, Virgo. If you want to check them out, I do sell them on Etsy and they're linked down below. What do we need to know about what this person is thinking about Virgo or this connection? What are they thinking about Virgo or this connection spirit? Looking back, so they're looking back at the past. Bottom of the deck, every time I want to reach out, something stops me. Yeah, that's kind of this energy here with the Seven of Wands as well. Like, I don't, I'm not ready for that right now. I can't talk right now. I can't deal with this right now. Something is going on in this person's life where for some reason, talking to you is not the first thing they're going to do. That's just the energy I'm getting here. What can Virgo expect next in the near future, Spirit? What can Virgo expect in the near future you might get communication let's see because i they do have the the queen of swords is there what can virgo expect next the chariot cancer energy what can virgo expect next in the near future wow the wheel of fortune hmm the Chariot and the Wheel of Fortune. I love them together, but it, especially in this reading, it's making me pause. Can I get one more? What can Virgo expect in the near future? Wow. The Empress. Three. This one, too. The Page of Cups. Okay. Look at all this major arcana, major shifts in energy, Virgo, especially with the Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot. So let's start here, because when I have these two energies together, I think things are moving, and they're moving in a certain way. Like, there's momentum, there's opportunity. Things are happening in the best possible way, because the Wheel of Fortune is about, 
you know, feeling lucky, fortunate events, things happening that you weren't even expecting, almost like the divine is involved, uh, luck as well. And the chariot is about being on the right course. You're on the path to success. You are making the right goals, accomplishing the right goals. You're on your way. So th these two together are very, very powerful. But then when I look at it in the context of this reading, remember there's something, the tower keeps coming up, so we can't ignore that, right? I feel like things are moving very quickly and you're on the path to success, but I think it's not going to happen A, B, C, D, E the way that you hoped. I feel you're gonna be jumping around a little bit in that sequence. So for example, this person might say, I'm moving closer to you or I'm out of a situation and I'm making all of these moves, but we can't be together right now. Or I need to do something first. I'll be back. That's kind of the energy here. But I can tell you that you're going to get some sort of communication, page of cups, and there's the empress, the emperor's counterpart. So I feel like this person is going to give you at least a very small offer of like maybe in a, um, a quick apology or a quick message saying I'm interested. I'm still interested, but it is a page, okay? I feel like this might be somebody that's gonna say something like, I haven't forgotten you. Or, you know, I feel like we are, we are, you are a special person in my life. I haven't decided what, what role you fit into, but I can tell you that you're very special to me. Something like that with that page of cups. Then we have the fool at the bottom of the deck with the king of wands be behind that. So this person is going to be taking a lot of risks. I feel like this person is ready to kind of take charge of their life with the emperor energy. And they're making certain decisions um, and starting a whole new cycle. But that also means that maybe they need a lot of planning or preparation. Or maybe they need to build something from scratch again. Especially like if they're moving somewhere new, well then now they have to find a place to live, a place to work, et cetera, et cetera. Let me know if this is resonating for you, Virgo. I feel like what you're waiting for will happen, just not the way that you expected it to.